children now it is time to do physics lab experiment this experiment belongs to 6th standard and the chapter name is light reflection and shadows dear students do you know what is light light is the form of energy that can give us sensation of vision dear students to know about light energy completely we have to know its properties here you can see few properties of light properties of light rectilinear propagation reflection and refraction dear students in this session we are going to learn about rectilinear propagation of light the aim of this experiment is to show that light travels in a straight line the materials that are required cardboards plasticine iron nail and candle the theory of this experiment is an object which emit light is called a source of light for example sun torch and etc opaque object do not allow light to pass through them and cast dark patches behind them these dark patches are called shadows does a light travels in straight line now it is time to see processor take three cardboards of same size place the cardboards vertically in a single plane make a hole in each of them by driving a nail through them together keep each cardboard in a straight line using plasticine take a lighted candle and place it behind the last cardboard marked as a and look through the hole of cardboard marked as c you can see the light of the candle flame and now sorry what did you observe my dear children observation from the experiment you can observe that light travels in a straight line based on this experiment i'll ask few questions the first question what are luminous bodies and give examples anyone would like to answer for this question the answer is the bodies which emits light by their own are called luminous bodies for example sun glow worm candle and etc and the second question is what are non luminous bodies and give examples anyone else the answer is the substance which does not emit the light but reflects the light which fall on it for example earth chair table and etc and the third question is what are opaque bodies and give examples and the answer is the bodies which does not allow the light through them are called opaque bodies for example wood brick rock and etc and final question is which property of light help to form shadow of an object 
and the answer is rectilinear propagation of light helps to form shadow of an object thank you, thank you.